know, where where should we engage? Um, where can and should we as consumers, food service providers, government officials, citizens engage to achieve these systemic significant changes that are now required, transformative changes? Important for us here is to understand the needs of the farmer who wants to shift into regenerative practices. That includes changing types of crops, you know, using cover crops, using specialized seeds, rotating crops, uh, in, in order to deal with the type and condition of soil that's, that's uh, farm specific, dealing with access to water, local climate, even microclimates, and the socioeconomic reality of their bioregion. That is disruptive to the global industrial vertically integrated supply chain. It requires changes in mass menus, recipes, and aggregation practices that disrupt prevailing business models. USDA has developed a number of programs to support local market development because these changes must start at the local or bioregion level. We can help and engage with our local school catering, with local restaurants, and grocery stores to support this transition. Harvard University, in partnership with the Culinary Institute of America, has developed the Menus of Change initiative, directed at corporate chefs, corporate buyers, food buyers, food, food procurement, to support a shift towards plant forward, also called flexitarian menus. The core idea here is to meet is to reduce meat consumption because meat takes the majority of all natural resources and make meat an ingredient as opposed to the center of the plate and also encourage vegetarian and vegan recipes. The concept is to align recipes with the products of a specific bioregion, which can be produced regeneratively in different regions of the country. Think of Pacific Northwest versus Florida. Kansas, California, you know, different growing conditions. To explain this some more here, cultures around the world uh, have lived on their land for often thousands of years, um, feeding their populations without destroying their soils and watersheds. I mean, think of Japan, think of Italy, France, Germany, you know, countries that have been around for thousands of years, literally. I mean, the Roman Empire, right? The uh, were able to, to survive on their land, not destroying their soils. They all developed menus that follow the seasons and harmonize what the farmer can produce, produce sustainably, year after year, generation after generation, in good health for the land and for the people. Now, these are exciting foods, colorful, tasty, healthy. There's no sacrifice here to do the right thing. And this is also indigenous knowledge, right? There is, there is a deep-seated uh, uh, cultural knowledge in these cuisines you know, that is complementary with the land and, and, and the outcome of many generations of trial and error. 